Joining me right now is the greatest high school football player in the history of Hampton Roads, Percy Harvin, who went to Lanstown High School. He went to the University of Florida. He played in the NFL. He won Super Bowls, one of the greatest and most exciting players of his generation in the National Football League history. And then abruptly, after four, year, four years ago, Percy, you decided to give it all up. I know you were battling migraines. You were battling problems. What the heck happened back then? Um, I didn't like what was on display, um, from the migraines um, to the not figuring out exactly what was going on with my body from the injuries um, to mentally. Um, that, that just, it was a trickle down effect, if I could say it like that. Uh, one thing led to another, that led to another, that led to another, that led to a trade, um, that just led to a player spiraling. Um, just kind of didn't figure it out. Um, didn't have a, a good grasp on myself. Uh, things happened quickly um, with the trades and my body kind of um, was falling apart at the same time, and it all it, it got up on me real quick. Um, so, it just was a, a trickle down effect, and um, I kind of was a question mark player uh, walking around. But Trace, but Percy, you weren't one of like a third string wide receiver. You were one of the most exciting players in the National Football League. How hard was it to walk away? It, it was it was tremendously hard. Um, I couldn't even put it into words, but what I did know is that I didn't like what was being displayed. Um, I take pride in my name. Um, I had a, uh, my kid was born; he was uh, two years old at the time in, in Buffalo when I decided to leave. Um, and I didn't like that. I knew I wanted to be a better example. Um, I didn't know why at the time, but I just knew, man, I wanted to be a better man. Um, I wanted to function better. Um, I wanted to be able to talk to people better. Um, and just have different relationships in a, in, in a better way. So it, for me, it was it was more, I knew I had to get myself mentally right before my body or anything was even in question. Um, mentally, I had to go to work. So you had, you had surgery on your hip. And you come to the conclusion that you want to give it another shot. You're not like some old sportscaster like me who takes a couple <laughs> of years off and then decides to come back and sit in front of the camera. You're talking about going back and playing in one of the most violent sports in America at your age after four years. When did it hit you? And what went through your mind? And who did you talk to when you came to the conclusion, I want to come back? Uh, first, uh, it came to my mind about, I'll say about six, six, seven months ago, where that the whisper was like, man, it's, it's time to go back. Um, I had always been working out, um, stayed working out, stayed fit, um, been in the gym, you know, Monday through Saturday. Um, but something told me to just take it to the to, to the ground and really start running. Um, I hadn't just been doing gym work and, you know, maybe do the tre uh, treadmill, just, you know, to stay up on things. But something just told me to, like, really, 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 really give it a shot. So I started um, – the only person I told at that point was my wife um, and my son and my daughter was only still the only people that I've talked to to this point now. Um, and when was that? That was about three, three and a half, four weeks ago, where I told them, like, I'm, I'm going. Um, before then, it was, I was kind of playing with it. I kind of had, you know, whispered a couple of times, but about four weeks ago, I said, I'm doing this. I'm putting my name in the hat. I'm going for it. Whatever happens, happens. And, um, you know, everybody was good with it, and that just gave me more energy. And, um, Everything has been on track from my training to my belief um, to the things I'm able to do now. Um, everything has still been lining up, so I'm, I'm going for it. There's fast, which you have to be in the NFL, and then there's Percy Harvin fast. Can you ever be Percy Harvin fast again? The thing is, I, I don't think it ever left. Um, I just think I had to get the injuries fixed. Um, from me outside running, um, playing basketball now, um, <laughs> The last thing I can tell people is to worry about whether I can pick these feet up and put them back down. Um, I think the biggest thing for me was mental. Um, you know, I went into it young. Um, so just figuring out, you know, just how to, you know, be a man and 
just getting a grip on Percy Harvin and the person I wanted to be and the, the example I wanted to be um, those last two years. I know that's not the person who I wanted to be when people Google me. Um, even when I retired, I hated seeing that, uh, you know, he abruptly went and such and such. I, you know, I, I wanted to be a smooth story. And, and now I feel like I got a chance to, to come back and be like, hey, you know, it's the guy that messed up, tripped, fell, the worst of the worst. And he cleaned up and, you know, He's willing to, to put it all on the line again. So um, and I got confidence in myself and I feel like I'll be able to help a couple of people who, who stumble and fall themselves that, you know, that I've seen in a down, downward spiral um, that I seen myself a couple of years ago. I feel like I'll be able to help some guys. I know you're working with Alvin Keels. What is the realistic thoughts about you getting back in and what do you have to do to get signed? Um, for me, I think the biggest thing will, will definitely be uh, once some of this thing clears uh, interviews, um, I definitely would think all the personnel would want to see, just, you know, just want to talk with me as yourself just to see where my mental at, um, you know, to get a picture of my face, uh, you know, just kind of see where I'm at, um, see how I talk, um, you know, see where, just kind of see where I'm at. I left abruptly, so, you know, people going to want to see what's going on, you know, why I decided to come back, you know, what am I coming back for? And I got all those answers. Um, but Alvin obviously must think that there's a good possibility or he wouldn't be spending the time with you. Um, I text Alvin. Um, I sent them. Uh, I've been working uh, with Tim Montgomery, a uh, former Olympic champion here down in you know uh, Tim from Norfolk State. Uh-huh. Exactly. Yep. So he's down here. He's uh, been living in Gainesville the last three years um, at Numa Speed uh, Performance. Um, he trained uh, Josh Gordon all his comebacks um so he's taking me to a, a another level um as far as my hips and being able to get my hips up like a track runner and um he's he's lit a fire in me too um because my hips have always been my weak point uh for whatever reason um so he, he's made them a strength um so the way I'm coming off the ball now my flexibility um so I just sent Cal, uh, Alvin some of the um some of the videos and Everybody I've been sending the videos to, uh, from Josina Anderson to um, a couple other people. and um, they, so, they, what did, they, so what did Alvin say? So you send him all this stuff. You tell him you want to get back. Obviously, you know, he works with obviously a lot of younger guys. What did he say to you? Um, he, uh, no question said, P, it's, this is going to be a challenge. Um, but he said, I accept the challenge. He said, this, I, I got no question that if I get you to the door that you're going to kick it down. And, um, that's the promise he said. He was like, throughout all this, I'm not going to promise you anything. Um, you, you already know you've been away such and such years. But he said, what I can do is I can get you to the door. And from that door, it's going to be, it's going to be um, up to you. And um, I think at this point, that's all I can ask for. If Percy Harbin comes back, that could be one of the greatest comeback stories in NFL history. I know you thought about that. Absolutely. Oh, um, man. And not even, it's, it's about uh, what, I, what I said. Um, and the last question is just, just to show guys that, you know, I've seen um, going through, I know the thing that I went through, I can just see it. Um, so when I see it in the news, it's to help them, it's to show them that it ain't over with. Um, you can come back, you can get it back. And um, I'm ready to prove that when you, um, when you get yourself together, you can get it all back. Hey, remember those days at Lancetown? I know then you went on to Florida and then it was all big time after that, but man, those basketball games and those football games, and those track meets, man. Yes, sir. You yes, tell sir. You still got a little Virginia Beach left in you. No question. Uh, my my lady should tell you every day. I'm outside playing basketball. Um, that's my little practice. And uh, just playing out there is kind of what I knew I really had when I started dunking and started doing some of the stuff that I was able to do back in the day. So I said, "Baby, I still got it. I, I still got it." Um, so it, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. All right, let's stay in touch. And when you sign, we're going to talk again. Most definitely. Thank you.